from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. Our expectations of dogs have, have definitely have changed and we're, we expect our dogs to be almost perfect. We expect our dogs to be able to play with the child unsupervised and show absolutely no aggression. Melissa Bain is an expert in dog behavior at the UC Davis Veterinary Hospital. The main reason that people bring their dogs to veterinary behaviorists is for aggression, either towards humans, towards stranger dogs, or towards other dogs in the household. Bain and her staff first find out what causes the aggression by interviewing the owner and giving the dog a physical exam. And there's a, a big relationship often between medical problems and behavior problems. After we get a history, we go through a problem list and actually make a diagnosis for these animals and then give the owners a, a treatment plan. Bain says if the dog's owner is committed to the treatment plan and uses behavior modification tools, such as vocal commands and food treats, most aggression issues can be avoided. No dog ever loses their aggression entirely, just like no human loses their aggression entirely. We, we still become upset, we still will yell at people, but we don't punch people or we don't hit people. We want to take away the severe, unacceptable aggression away from these dogs and teach owners a different way to manage their dogs and to, to look for early warning signals. Animal shelters cite aggression and problem behaviors as the number one reason that people relinquish healthy dogs do the pound. Bain wants dog owners to know that there are options and that aggression can be controlled using positive reinforcement techniques. Paul Fotenauer reporting from UC Davis. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.